The history is that Dr. Stiles, who, is, who was a CU alumnus, ha had been Dean of Education at three major institutions in the United States. And during that time, he decided that he should support the idea that the best should teach to provide respect for teachers. In addition to being a scholar himself and a very committed activist for diversity and equity, um, he was a proud person who disliked it when uh, education did not have the standing he thought it deserved in the world. Dr. Stiles believed, as dean of a college of education, that all teachers should have a content major, and he required primary and secondary teachers to have an undergraduate major in a discipline. He also believed that college faculty, who are specialists in a discipline, should add to their expertise knowledge of educational research and teaching methodologies. The phrase best should teach um, emphasizes the importance of content knowledge in excellent teaching. His legacy is reflected in the fact that we work with all the schools and colleges and faculty from all of the schools and colleges assist us with the training of graduate students to teach at the Boulder campus. I found that as I've gotten older, I feel a greater sense of responsibility to, uh, to continue to engage with the youth. Uh, there's a great saying that uh, if you move up, you should provide a ladder for those who can follow you. The students are always changing, and uh, they come in with completely different backgrounds, completely different expectations of the college experience, uh, completely different views of the world, and that forces me to rethink how I'm going to communicate with them. Actually, start with with me, and uh, I, I want to project a sense of fairness, uh, a sense of mutual respect. Learning their names immediately, so that they feel like I am really uh, attuned to them, um, and uh, only if I've done that, only if I started to engage with them, do I find out how they're going to learn best. It's very helpful to me um, to take what people have been studying. And, and researching and um, to, uh, to use that to try to guide my teaching of the students. So not so much learning styles as it is um, where they're coming from. Well, I would certainly say I, uh, I try to have a very high energy environment and one that the students know that not only am I prepared for, about the material, I'm enthusiastic about the material and I'm happy to see them there. I try to draw out their best ways of expression. Those that can do, those that can't teach, I think is, uh, is absolutely ridiculous. I think that is hogwash. <laughs> um, those who can do, and those who can do more, teach. Those who can do, those who can't teach. And Woody Allen adds, those who can't teach, teach Jim. Only those who do can teach. The very best should teach, and they should teach the very young. So it's sort of a two, in my opinion, it's a two-part statement, and, and I strongly agree with both parts. Um, um, the idea that those who can do something well, the best, the very best, should be the teachers, it seems v very obvious. I, I'm going to argue, I'm quoting a colleague of mine, Noah Finkelstein, education is a, it's the fundamental form of investment that our society makes in its own future. Civilizations are advanced by people being understanding each other, uh, uh, tolerating each other, uh, in order to uh, collectively develop laws, develop technologies, things like that that contribute to a civilization. That comes from enlightenment, that comes from knowledge, and that comes from seeking, continuously seeking new knowledge and, and, and enlightenment. So, and teachers are the ones to uh, continue that process. And uh, you know, often at times it starts in the classroom or in the research lab where uh, that's where the spark starts.